после стратосферы совсем неплохо. I'm commander of Sputnik 2. Growing up on the streets of Moscow, I could only look to the heavens and wonder. To be the first in space is an accomplishment I never dreamed about. I do this in the name of the motherland. In the name of Comrade Lenin. Comrade Khrushchev. In the name of the party. And in the name of sausage. I am Laika. This isn't a happy story, but it's my story. And there's little time to tell it. From three dogs, Albina, Mushka, myself, I was selected for this mission. What set me apart? My ability to withstand the centrifuge tests. My superior aptitude to sit and eat and go to the bathroom in a small cabin and even smaller spacesuit. Also, Albina just had a litter of puppies. But the mission was rushed. After the glorious launch of Sputnik 1, Comrade Khrushchev wanted another success to commemorate the 40th anniversary of our triumphant Bolshevik Revolution. But that gave us only a month. The temperature control system was hastily designed. And there was no time for a recovery plan to bring me home. When Sputnik 1 launched, its signal was heard around the world. On Sputnik 2, the signal of my heartbeat is only heard by Soviet scientists. During the launch, the telemetric sensors said my heart rate was three times as fast. The G-forces caused my respiratory rate to increase five-fold. Then, my heart slowed. In zero gravity, in space, my breathing is slower and deeper. I am alive. While I orbit the Earth, information of respiration, blood pressure, heart rate, even my movements in the weightless cabin are constantly transmitted back. So, I am alone, but I am not alone. My comrades can hear me. And I orbit. But this is a one-way mission. By the second orbit, it's getting so hot. There was clearly a miscalculation in thermodynamics, the cooling fans are useless. I know my comrades tried. I know they are there. I orbit for a third time. Through the small window, I can see Earth. I'm not sure where the motherland is. I am a dog after all. It's my fourth orbit. Maybe five hours since I entered space. It's so hot. I feel like I can't breathe. The telemetric sensors have failed. I look at Earth out the window. This is the dog Laika. It had been trained to live in a special container. The apparatus, test animal, and power sources on the Sputnik weighed half a ton. <laughs> 